Okay, Epstein-Barr virus. So, um, common name would be infectious mononucleosis, or I think you can also call it mono. Disease name, EBV. Its nucleic acid is um, double-stranded DNA, and it does contain an envelope. The related virus would be herpes viridae family, and its distinguishing features would be, would be that the structure consists of an envelope, which has spikes, a core, a capsid, and a tegument. Geographic occurrence would be worldwide. Pathogenic properties, so it affect, infects the epithelium of the throat and salivary ducts. It's linked to an infection of B lymphocytes and rarely causes hemorrhage of an enlarged spleen. High-risk individuals would be anyone. Reservoirs or humans. Parts of the body infected would be cells of the body's immune system. Mm. Method of transmission, saliva, part of a portal of entry um, would be the mouth, so you know, intimate contact with someone. Method of transmission would be direct via saliva, portal of entry would be um, intimate contact with infected saliva. So then you have incubation period would be 46 weeks and it's latent or doormat for the rest of the person's life, so it can come back. Period of illness would be one to three months. Contagious period is when the virus is active in the saliva, even when there's no symptoms shown or if a person's like really healthy. Symptoms would be fever, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, extreme fatigue, night sweats, and swollen spleen or liver. I think that's more on like the serious complication side. But um, with serious complications, you have nasal pharyngeal cancer, lymphoma, or ruptured spleen. Diagnostic methods would be mono spot test seeing the elevated white blood cells and then prevention um protect yourself you know try to not kiss people who are infected with mono or like try not to share drinks or food with people or just try not to share personal items